Please welcome Yoshinori Kitase, producer, Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'm very happy to be able to introduce this long beloved title once again. After 22 years, the familiar characters we love have returned while becoming more beautiful and captivating than ever before. To our long-time fans, we thank you for your support and patience over these years, and we look forward to embarking on this journey together. FF7 will remake the Final Fantasy VII and the world's world and characters are more deeply developed. Final Fantasy VII remake project is the first part of the film. ミッドガルのストーリーを広大にかつ緻密に語っております。また、ゲームデザインも今作より最適化しておりまして、ブルーレイ2枚組相当のボリュームを見込んでおります。1本の独立したゲームとして十分期待に応える作品になっております。Rem
With the use of his iconic gun arm, Barrett is able to target enemies at a distance. Barrett's standard attacks generate ATB charges similar to Cloud, but his abilities are entirely different. Switching between characters in combat is done with a single button press, which makes rotating through party members a snap. Speaking of other party members, Katasi-san, when are we going to see Tifa in action? Maybe, maybe soon, soon. All right. Characters will continue to fight even when you're not controlling them directly, but it's up to you to choose how and when ATB charges are used. You can maximize your effectiveness by switching between characters or issuing commands to characters with full ATB bars. Every enemy has a focus gauge that fills up as you do damage. When the gauge is full, the enemy becomes staggered and you'll deal bonus damage. Tactical mode evokes the command selections from the original Final Fantasy VII and allows players to enjoy battle while taking the time to think strategically. For players who prefer fast-paced action, abilities and spells can be bound to shortcuts for immediate execution. Shortcuts make combat extremely dynamic, but the choice of using them is entirely up to you. Right, Katase-san? That's right. The game has been made so that you can choose how to play. I hope players get excited about this. Well, that's a brief introduction to combat in Final Fantasy VII Remake, and we look forward to showing you a whole lot more in the coming months. For now, let's see how Cloud and Barrett do against a more formidable foe. Take it out quickly, which is good. 
is dead. Showed you how it's done. Come on, we've got to move. Well, please welcome Tetsuya Nomura, director, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Thank you for joining us, Nomura-san. It is an absolute honor to have you here. Katase-san, how do you feel working with Nomura-san once again on Final Fantasy VII Remake? Hi, he's a director of the first time, since the original Final Fantasy VII, I've worked with him on many titles, but it has been a while since we've actually had him work so heavily on a project like this, from the direction to character design to the story. And I'm really happy to see him working on this title with the same passion that he had 22 years ago. Yes. <laughs> 結構so first and foremost, uh, we wanted to extend our gratitude to those who have been waiting so patiently and have been supporting us for such a long time until now. And also, um, we've taken a look at gameplay right now, and we fairly showed you um, a good bit. And I was wondering, do you guys want to actually play the game? ということでですね、明日から開催されます E3 so we actually have playable demo kiosks available at the Square Enix E3 booth. So I hope you have the opportunity to try it out. Hi. So now, the last thing I want to see you guys is that you can see so finally, there is something that we wanted to show you. Um, yesterday we showed you a short version of a trailer at the Final Fantasy VII concert. But today, today we have a longer version. Alright, please take a look.
These sewer rats appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. You can have it for saving my life. You think he's a keeper? Oh my god. <laughs> Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture here. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without sacrifice. Help me! the son I wanted to see. You keep your eyes closed. I know what happened with you guys in Seattle. How do you feel with us misfits? Come on! <laughs> gotcha! If you could just Ready when you are, young master. Oh my god, this is so exciting. All of your oh my gosh. I love the setting, it's so beautiful, man. Time to hit the road. It'll be fine, Daniel. As long as we're together. I want to see what his power can do. Come on, Daniel. You got this. It's hard to be able to control his powers. Oh, no. No, I shouldn't do this. Stop it, you crazy? On the ground, now. Oh. God. I miss Dad. I'm so sorry, Daniel. I'm really glad I got to meet you. It's the same for me. Ah, uh, bro hug. 
What a nice dude, man. It's the puppy! The puppy! We got a puppy! Daniel! Come on! Run! Do it, Daniel! No! Oh, this is gonna be the cliffhanger. That's so sad! God damn it. Stop, Daniel! I said stop! Don't run me! That was so intense. It's my power, not yours. What the? No, that's the ending, isn't it? This game is awesome. Long ago, miasma has blanketed the world. Crystals keep the deadly miasma in check, but the crystal's power is not eternal. These are the chronicles of brave young adventurers who journey to protect their home. These are the Crystal Chronicles. If we had no crystals, miasma would consume us all, correct? Never did I imagine that it could be so bright. In online multiplayer mode, caravan with friends wherever they may be. Keep the adventure close at hand. The journey now unfolds on smartphones. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition. This winter, embark on a new journey once more. This should be fun. This world is full of mysteries. Prepare yourself! I will not lose to you! Now the true lesson begins! The hunt is on. This is the beginning of your end. Conjure lightning! This will settle things. My blade protects those in need. Now let's seal the deal! Let's end this, shall we? My brand, I'll strike you down. I'm ready for you! This is our chance! Octopath Traveler. The vile cult that worships destruction has outlawed the building, cooking, and creation of all things and captured the builders. All hope seems to be lost until you, a young apprentice builder, manages to escape the clutches of evil. 
washed up on the deserted shores of the Isle of Awakening, and with the help of your spirited and mysterious companion, Malroth, it is up to you to doff your mallet and club, unravel the riddles of this land, and defeat the hateful children of Harkon. Travel the diverse islands and discover your true potential as a master builder. Yay! There is a land of adventure with many islands offering unlimited building combinations. You will have to master new crafting skills on each island with more to do and even more to create. <laughs> Everything in Dragon Quest Builders 2 is much, much bigger. Build huge structures in a larger world with more variety and options than ever before. And with a little help from the eager islanders. The world is humongous and you'll need your wits about you to get around. Run across open fields and explore ruins, treacherous mines and spectacular castles. Dive into the watery depths to discover hidden treasures. Climb the highest mountains to catch the sunset. And glide home to rest up for your next day of adventure. But beware. Monsters roam this land and will need to be dispatched with cunning composure. Luckily, accompanying you on your quest is the enigmatic Malroth. An aggressive amnesiac with a fondness for fighting foes. Use powerful attacks on the battlefield to take down monstrous beasts. <laughs> Work together with your villagers to till soil, plant seeds and raise a multitude of crops. Be sure to customize the way you build your fields to support the kind of crops you're growing. Harvest anything from the humble cabbage and wheat to tantalizingly tasty tomatoes. Big projects require big, big help. You and three friends can team up online to build anything you can imagine. Let your creativity run wild! The only limit is your imagination. So call on your friends and build your fate together! The road you build is paved with peril, young builder. Only you can defeat the children of Hargon. Bring an end to destruction and save the world in Dragon Quest Builders 2!
Princess Carolina. Alberto. And Carlos Mastreta. We're a family of motorsport fans from Mexico, and we're the founders of Original Fire Games. Over the last few decades, we have seen a fascinating evolution in racing games. And nowadays, you can drive almost any type of car on amazing recreations of the best tracks in the world. However, we believe it's time to try something different. We want to do this by reviving a style that pioneered racing games decades ago. Our game mixes top-down racing with a classic, sharp arcade look and tactile driving physics, which brings together a whole range of styles and eras of motorsport. We are delighted to share this moment with you and show a sneak preview of our game, which Square Enix Collective will publish in 2020. Join us for the ride and see you again soon. Battalion 1944 recaptures the core of classic competitive first-person shooters. You'll need to quickly coordinate strategies with your team on the fly, whilst keeping your movement nimble and your aim precise if you hope to beat out the competition. There are multiple game modes for you and your team to dive into. Test your skills in domination, capture the flag or team deathmatch and perfect your tactics in the highly competitive wartime game mode. Face It's competitive toolset is fully integrated into the game, bringing world-renowned competitive matchmaking, 1v1s, tournaments, rankings and leaderboards. Kill enemies, win matches, and rank up to demonstrate your Battalion 1944 prowess and unlock visual customization rewards. Each season will bring challenges for you to complete and medals to unlock, whilst tracking your in-game accomplishments and providing you with an easy way to compare them against your friends via in-game leaderboards. Halt the Axis Offensive in their tracks with the Rapid Fire PPSH or take fire with Pixel Precision with the Mosin Nagant and a whole host of new weapons just as deadly as their owners. With a range of environments to test your skills in and a variety of weapons at your disposal, play as a team and compete to be top of the leaderboards. Available now on Steam.
Please welcome Naoki Yoshida, producer and director, Final Fantasy XIV Online. My name is Naoki Yoshida, producer and director of Final Fantasy XIV. Today is a short time, but I will be able to announce the first package of Final Fantasy XIV for Final Fantasy XIV. I will be able to announce the first package of Final Fantasy XIV. So we'd like to take a little bit of your time to show off um, Shadowbringers Final Fantasy XIV's third expansion pack, which is releasing on July the 2nd. In 2013, the first 有料会員数も過去最高を、えー、更新することができました、えー、これらはすべて世界中のプレイヤー光の戦士の皆さんのおかげですこの場を借りて改めてお礼申し上げます It's been six years since the release of A Realm Reborn in 2013, and over the years we have surpassed 16 million total registered users. Plus, we have reached the highest number of active subscribers in history, uh, in its history, before the launch of Shadowbringers. This is all thanks to our players, our Warriors of Light. This is the first volume of the Shadowbringers in the package of a new RPG in the first volume of the RPG. We view Shadowbringers as more than a simple expansion pack, but as a new game filled with volume and gameplay experiences that are comparable to a brand new stand-alone RPG title. Also, the new game of Gunbreaker, Odorico, the new game of Rosgar and Biela, これからファイナルファンタジー14を始める皆さんにも多数の新規の要素が用意されています。So jobs, dancer, races, えー、ぜひファイナルファンタジーシリーズの最新作として。Final Fantasy VII Remake の発売2020年3月3日までの間、漆黒のヴィランズをお楽しみください。We are excited to bring Shadowbringers as the latest installment in the Final Fantasy franchise for our fans to enjoy, at least until 2020 March 3rd, when Final Fantasy VII Remake comes out. えー、それではいよいよ7月2日、えー、ローンチとなりますがこの場で世界初公開となる,なるその漆黒のヴィランズのローンチトレーラーをご覧いただこうと思います We are pleased to bring a world premiere of the launch trailer for Shadowbringers releasing on July the 2nd Please take a look the oldest joke in the book. And when, pray tell, did we last have a dark night? Over a hundred bleeding years ago, that's when. In that chaotic no man's land between realms, time and space war and blend in unexpected ways. What Orianger saw was the future. That's how the Sin Eaters came to be. They were once living creatures or people that were caught in part of the Flood. Once the change is wrought, there is no going back. The eternal light of these creatures has confounded us for nigh on a hundred years. For each we have put down, 
another has risen up in its place, born of the self-same ether relinquished by its predecessor. That's him. That's Volthry. Senators are part of Yulmore's society, but they must be fed with ether. Living ether. This world's beyond saving. Like those who try to save it. This world has had its fill of heroes. was made manifest. I'm sorry, I can only assume I misheard, but it sounded an awful lot like you were implying both Zodiac and Hydaelyn are not gods, but... They are gods after a fashion, yes. The eldest and most powerful of primals.
Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Enjoyed by fans the world over, has surpassed 39 million downloads. Now, Square Enix proudly presents the international reveal of a new title born from the FFBE universe. War of the Visions, Final Fantasy, Brave Exvius. These two titles, FFBE and War of the Visions, will be the pillars of the growing world of Lapis. This is the story of Ardera, a continent of Lapis. A tiny spark here ignites the flames that would embroil the entire continent in conflict. A conflict later spoken of as the War of the Visions. Leonis, ruled by the Red Lion Monarch, possesses the power of visions, as well as twin princes. Horn, the great western kingdom, governed by a policy of peace and its brave and wise king. Fenis, where the king of the savages has organized the barbarian tribes into Ardura's mightiest militant state. Wesset, the great eastern kingdom over which reigns its icy despot. Crystal Sanctum, a religious city-state with believers throughout Ardra, founded by one who claims to be God. Each burden with its own dignity, thus is the curtain drawn on a struggle in which the fate of nations rests. is for one's homeland. War of the Visions, Final Fantasy, Brave Exvius. Now in development. Please welcome Sebastian Wojciechowski, Studio Head, People Can Fly. All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Sebastian Wojciechowski, Studio Head at People Can Fly, the studio behind Bulletstorm and Gears of War Judgment. Yeah, any Bulletstorm fans in the house? All right. Well, let me tell you, it feels great to be here and feels amazing to be able to finally announce Outriders. I'd like to thank the team at People Can Fly. You guys are amazing. And I know that some of you are watching this live, even though it's 4 a.m. in the morning in Poland. So 
Make a noise for them, please. Thank you, thank you. And of course, Square Enix for the help and support as we work together on this exciting new IP. You know, over the past few years, People Can Fly has grown to over 200 developers and four studios across Poland, the UK, and most recently, the US, to bring you what is our most ambitious shooter to date. To present more, <laughs> to present more of our vision, I would like to take this moment to introduce a short video from our game director, Bartik Kmita. So thanks a lot. More on Outriders this winter. Thank you. Shooters are in our DNA. It's our passion. And it's what we do. Outriders draws on all our experience from all our previous titles. It's a game we wanted to make for a very long time. We describe Outriders as a dark, modern shooter built with traditional values. By that, I mean we are creating an experience with a strong story that you can enjoy with your friends or on your own. We want to tell a complete story. We are confident we are building a shooter with a powerful gunplay, incredible weaponry, and a hostile new world we want to spend many hours in. It's, it's a game we've had in our heads ever since People Can Fly left Epic Games. Outriders is a one, two, or three player, drop in, drop out, co op shooter. In our game, you will create your own Outrider and journey across the hostile planet of Enoch in search of the source of a mysterious signal. It's, it's a pretty dark and unforgiving world, and yes, there is a lot more depth to the game, but I can't say it too much more right now. foundation of our way of life. We celebrate the lives we've been given and offer up prayers for the next. It is grief of death which shackles the living and causes the dead to stray. Indeed, there is no greater affront to reincarnation. So we turn our grief to joy as we send off the dead. But the souls of those who held back their tears in life still need salvation in death. A duty that falls to the Watchers. The Watchers sever the bonds that tie the lost to this world and send them off to the next. They navigate the emotions of the living and the dead. They prize life above all else. This is the story of one watcher.
Thor. Tony, check it out. At once. We'll try to keep up. This just got a whole lot more interesting. All the murderers. Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Well, we all lost something that day. But that's not how this story ends. Please welcome Sean Eskai, Creative Director, Crystal Dynamics, and Bill Roseman, Vice President and Creative Director, Marvel Games. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. We love you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you everyone. We are incredibly excited to reveal Marvel's Avengers to the world. A few years ago, Crystal Dynamics and Marvel began collaborating on an original Avengers game. One that combined epic action adventure with cinematic storytelling. A game where we as players can experience in both single player and co-op what it's like to be Earth's mightiest heroes. Do I have any true believers in the house? <clears throat> yes! Awesome. Because you will instantly recognize your favorite superheroes and villains, but you'll also see that they're unique to this game, as this is Crystal's interpretation of these iconic characters. Our story begins at A-Day as San Francisco celebrates the opening of the Avengers West Coast headquarters and the team's custom helicarrier outfitted with a strange experimental energy source. However, the day turns deadly when an attempt to steal this new technology results in massive destruction. Blamed for the tragedy, the Avengers are outlawed and our heroes disband. Five years later, a horrific evil threatens the world, and our only hope is to reassemble Earth's mightiest heroes. You'll play as your favorite Avengers in an all-new original story showcasing authentic Marvel heroism and humanity. It's about losing what matters to you most 
and fighting to get it back. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Most importantly, this is a story about self-acceptance in the face of adversity, about embracing our individual powers and learning that together we are mighty. <laughs> You'll lead the team as a legendary super soldier, Captain America. You'll call down the lightning as the Asgardian god of thunder, Thor. You'll channel the anger of scientist Bruce Banner by unleashing the Hulk. You'll gather intel and strike swiftly as the ultimate tactical spy, Black Widow. And finally, you'll blast through the sky as the charismatic Tony Stark. Known to the wider world as the Armored Iron Man. To bring this incredible story to life, we've assembled an all-star cast. I'll let them introduce themselves. So, here we are. Avengers Assembled. Who are you people again? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Troy Baker, and I play Bruce Banner. Hi, I'm Jeff Shine, and I play Captain America. Hi, I'm Travis Willingham, and I play Thor. Hi, I'm Laura Bailey, and I'm playing Black Widow. Hi, I'm Nolan North, and I play Tony Stark. There's certain characters I don't think you ever have to be uh, talked into. <laughs> yeah. You know, so we'd like to have you play Tony Stark Iron Man. Yeah, yes. <laughs> uh, you know, everybody always portrays him as this super confident character. And I think it's a mask for, for him. I think he's a, one of the most vulnerable guys. I think Bruce is just such a cool character. A lot of people are, are really quick to, to bring out the big green, but I think that that Bruce is a super complex character. He's fun, and I've never played him before. What is very relatable about Natasha is she's extremely capable, but she's at the core, she's human. She's what? surrounded by all of this larger-than-life stuff, and she has to step up to it. I, I feel like Thor got really interesting in the last like 10 or 15 years. For, for me, I, I like where he's kind of landed in the, the public eye, you know? One of the things I think is cool about Cap is I never feel like he uh, he necessarily wants to be a leader. He accepts that he is. I feel like sometimes the best leaders are the ones who don't necessarily want to be, but they're right for the job. Having an original story to tell as well, what they've done at Crystal Dynamics is great, so I think everybody's going to be pretty stoked. The Avengers are at their best when they are all together, but the chemistry is... <laughs> Do not shake. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Can't wait for you to be able to play the game. But right now, you don't have to wait for some exclusive content. Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Did you even check the science? Did you check? It was a science? heist. Bruce, no. We were outsmarted. No. The Terrigen reactor was unstable, <laughs> and you knew that. You knew that, and you still paraded it before the entire world. So what? We just give up? We didn't give up, Tony. We failed. At least I can admit that. No. No, we failed him. We failed him. Please welcome Scott Amos, Head of Studio, and Megan Marie, Senior Community and Social Media Manager, Crystal Dynamics. Hello, E3. <laughs> you've just, <laughs> you've just seen a high-level view of the cinematic and character-driven campaign of Marvel's Avengers. But launch is only the beginning of this adventure. 
Marvel's Avengers delivers a narrative over multiple years with exciting new content released at a regular basis. Like the Avengers, you and your friends are stronger together. You'll assemble into teams of up to four players online where you can master extraordinary abilities, where you can customize a growing roster of heroes and defend the Earth from ever escalating threats. Oh yes, oh yes. And to make sure everyone comes on this journey with us, we're incredibly thrilled to announce that every new superhero and every new region will be delivered at no additional cost. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So our promise to the community is that we won't have random loot boxes or pay to win scenarios. Yeah. This game represents a collaboration across Crystal Dynamics, Marvel Games, I know you're out here, IDOS Montreal, these guys are here, Nixie Software, our new Crystal Northwest studio, and everyone at Square Enix. So our game is about embracing your powers and living your superhero dreams. We have an exclusive gameplay demo in our booth that will show you more of the core campaign, its original story, and our superheroes in action. So Marvel's Avengers will release worldwide on PS4, Xbox One, Stadia, and PC. We got you covered. <laughs> and we're excited to be partnering with PlayStation to bring some awesome surprises to the PlayStation audience. <laughs> including early beta access <laughs> and unique benefits that we'll be revealing in the future. <laughs> but before we go, we have one final glimpse into our world including when you'll get to play this game. <laughs> this is what's next for the Avengers. Thank you, true believers. Damn it. Progress, Hank. I have a plan, but it's risky. Hank, that doesn't look ready. Come on, Tony, live a little. Unbelievable. It worked. It's sort of cute when they're small. Ah, I didn't doubt you for a second, Hank. 